Hi, this is Lin Nguyen. I'll be going over how to create custom controllers for rigs in Maya 2011. This technique will also work in the other versions of Maya. It's just this, the current version I'm using right now. Uh, so, controllers, what are they? Uh, they're just objects you can select to control your rig or any other object. Um, typically, people use curves. Here's a curve. Here's an example of a controller someone might use for controlling anything but uh, a lot of us like to have little special looking ones instead of just a normal circle. So let's say for example you want a special one. Let me change uh, my settings real quick. Let me set everything. Let's say I want to make that special sphere controller you might see some people have. I'll start from a circle like so. I'll just duplicate the circle. Rotate. I'll hold J down. That way I can snap to my 45 degree angles. Press Shift D, Shift D that way I have all of them. You want the other side? Just take this one right here. Again, control D. Um, just rotate, you can hold J. I'll just have one going up at 90. That way it looks pretty cool. Actually, I can just get rid of these. Don't really need them. There you go. Nice little sphere controller. Once you have the look you want, it doesn't matter how you want to make it look like, I can select this. Freeze my transforms and select one that you want to be your main controller and the rest will be parented to it. Uh, for this case, I'll be selecting this bottom one. Um, if that's the case, I'll select this circle right here. Press the down arrow to select the shape node. Shift click this ring down here. Type parent minus R minus S. Enter. We open this, we'll see that it is an extra shape node. I'm going to delete that shape node. Now if I click on this part of the controller, you'll notice that they're both selected. We're going to do the same thing with this extra ring. I'm going to click this ring right here. Down. Shift select your um, main ring again. Type in the same value. If you already typed it once, just press up, press enter and you can delete the extra shape node. This will leave you with a special new controller that you can use for however you want. They don't have to be directly connected together. You can have different type of objects. So if you wanted a giant line in there, you can have that line in there too. So this is one way I go about making my own controllers. Um, also make sure you center your pivot in the end too, just in case you had moved it. Another technique you might see are all the other tr um, three-dimensional ones. I like to start with the poly cube. Here's a poly cube. Then I go to my curves, select my uh, EP curve tool. I'm going to double click on the side over here. Reset my tool and set it to linear. With this, I'm just going to hold V. I'm just going to click it to all these vertices. It doesn't matter if you go over the same ones or not. Still holding V to snap to all my vertices. Once you have that done, you can just delete your original cube, which leaves you with this. That's how you make those uh, geometric shapes. Very simple. The same exact idea can also be applied to a, a cylindrical object. I wouldn't recommend something this high. But uh, if you take this down, you can use the same exact technique to create that way, or you can use the other technique I've just shown you with the whole parenting. So again, curves, EP curve tool, linear, let's hold V. Going over, still holding V, rotate, snap, click across. I'm just gonna make the rest of the circle down here. And there we go. Cylindrical controller. Pretty simple. So using both these techniques you can come up with uh, pretty varied results. And so if I wanted a little face, for example, 
I'll make a little face like so. Make an eye here or a nose or whatever it is you want. I guess I'll be on Z. Make the mouth open. Select the whole thing. Freeze transforms again like before. Seem to have four of them, so I'm gonna select this. Press down, shift click the main ring, type parent minus R minus S, enter, delete your shape node. Again, down, click that. You probably can make a script for this, it'll be significantly faster. But if you want to make it manually, that's how you do it. And there we go, we have ourselves a little face controller. Very simple, you can click any part and it'll still work. So it lets you know that you can have them completely separate from each other. Another technique I just noticed in the video was really cool was you can go to create. Uh, under text options, there's a bunch of different uh, uh, fonts for wingdings that you can probably choose. If you have trouble figuring out, you know, what font is what, you can go and find it in your character map inside uh, Windows. So, for example, if I go here and I type out uh, care map, if I go under wingdings, there's countless different uh, shapes you can probably use if you want for a special controller. Uh, if you did want a smiley face, you can type out uh, whatever value that is, um, or any of these other values too. So, if I select that, take that, copy, and probably paste it in here, which is J. Apply, I have myself a little happy face controller. If I don't want the outer ring, I can delete the outer ring. Take these objects, down, click, up, enter. Again, select that. I got myself a, a smiley face controller in the center of my pivot. And there you go. You get some pretty unique controllers. So uh, in here, it'll help you. Like for example, you know, there's like a hand you can use, or any other shapes you might be able to use that you might like. Uh, and use numbers, arrows, etc great way to create your shapes uh, to make them as little controllers inside Maya. Um, another type of controller you can make, some people don't like curves because they find it too hard to select, are if you take any of these solid objects inside nerves, it has to be nerves, not polygon. Now let's say I take the sphere for example. Uh, just go to your uh, hyper shade. I'm going to input output connections right here. That's the little like uh, fast forward button. And just disconnect your shape with your initial shading group. Delete that, just click on your object, and you'll notice that your object now is this flat blue color. If you don't like it, just go to your attributes, so that's control A. Under any of these nodes, if you see drawing overrides, it'll be under display. Drawing overrides. Scroll down, enable your overrides, and change the color to whatever color you want. So I can make it a red ball, uh, which is kind of painful to my eyes right now, so let's make it a. Uh, let's make it a brown ball. What's really cool? is it doesn't render. So if I click render, it doesn't render at all. Uh, allowing you to have all these controllers that you can use to select your um, your joints or whatever and it won't render. So I uh, hope this was useful for you. That way you can start making yourself some interesting controllers. Again, my name is uh, Lin. Just, you can check out more of my work at dnguanart.blogspot.com